All right. Thousands and thousands of comedians auditioned for a shot of becoming NBC's last comic standing. The winner was announced last night, and he is here tonight. He can be seen this Monday at Harris in Las Vegas. This is his very first appearance on The Tonight Show. Please welcome Dot Fan. <laughs> One more time, let's give a round of applause for our performance. Do a good job here. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, come down here. We're going to crack a joke. This is the plan here. I'm just going to speak English. I'm just playing around. <laughs> My parents hate it when I do that. My mom's like, that's not, that's not funny. <laughs> you want to make fun of us, son? You want to make fun of Asian time? It's like, Mom, chill out. I know, too. <laughs> Don't tell me what to chew, Doc. I chew what I want to chew. I chew you! Thank you very much on Vietnamese, you know? Vietnamese people in beauty salons. Who gave us this job here? <laughs> what was our plan of attack on the American economy here, folks? What was the final meeting when we left Vietnam to get on the boat? Vietnam, listen up, that's the final meeting. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. I know the perfect job for us. Okay, now the Japanese people, they take over to make the VCR, right? That's a good plan there? German, they take over, they make the perfect nougat, the automobile, the car. <laughs> Vietnam, we take over by doing panic here. That's how we take over. <laughs> we take over one foot at a time, damn it. That's the plan of attack right there. <laughs> we take over from the toe up. That's the plan. We spread over USA like fungus from the toe. USA, five dollars. Make you holla. Love you long time, G.I. I love doing stand-up. I knew stand-up was for me when I was the only Asian in high school that failed math. <laughs> but you know, when I failed, eight other students around me failed, too. <laughs> and I was copying one of them. That's the thing. You know, you know, I always go like, you know, one more time. You know, but I really have a lot of respect for, you know, people with accents and all that, you know. You know why? Because dating's really hard enough as it is. And I see guys out there without accents and they're blowing it, throwing out bad lines at women. Like, hey, is your father a thief? <laughs> because they're wondering who stole the stars from the skies and stuck them in your eyes. I see really bad lines like that. Imagine the poor guys with the accents like, hey, your father, does he steal things? <laughs> Because I wonder who stole the scarf in your eyeball. <laughs> and stick it in your belly. <laughs> you can't do that. But you know, I'm so thankful to be here, you know, because I came from a very racist part of San Diego and it's so diverse in Hollywood and stuff like that, you know. And there, I mean, there's still, San Diego is great, but there's still some racist people out there. I would like walk across the street, minding my own business, right? And these guys would walk past me making fun of me. <laughs> what in the world is that? I don't walk by you guys and go, airplanes, cars, trucks, houses, trees, bushes, fire hydrants. Thank you, I'm Deaf Fan. You guys are great. Thank you very much, folks.